Hey friends, this is Viv from Langchain. So if you've been keeping up to date with the latest and the greatest in agentic coding, then you might have heard of this guy. This is Ralph Wiggum, famous from The Simpsons, but given a sort of new lease on life in our agentic world by our good friend, Jeff Huntley. Now, what does Ralph actually have to do with agentic coding? Well, we can thank the Ralph Loop for that. Let's dive in. It's a story of perseverance, but it's also a story of what your agent can really do with a simple while loop and a file system. Great, so we talked about the Ralph loop, but what's actually in there? To show you, we built Ralph mode for deep agents. It's a pretty simple flow. So basically, here's how it goes. You have some sort of task or task specification here we'll keep it pretty simple. I'm just asking my agent to build a Python course. That same prompt and that same task gets passed to the deep agent on every iteration. So my deep agent gets this task, the associated prompt, and then what it also gets is access to the file system. So the file system sort of acts as a work log and a memory store for the agent's work over these iterations. So you can have iteration one, two, three, you can set a max iterations, or you can just let Ralph run and then check on it later and stop it if you want. So this is the loop to keep it running. Why is this important and what, why does this matter? Well, few reasons. First of all, one of the easiest ways today to get agents to do long running work is just by forcing them to continue this loop over and over again. The other important thing is that agents are really, really good at using file systems. And file systems are great because if they're coupled with something like Git for history, they can keep track of the other work that they've been doing. So it's pretty simple. I just give my deep agent a task. It continues to do work on it. It'll probably save some files to the file system for this task, which is build a Python course. It'll make some demo files, some, some write-ups, some course content. And then when it thinks it's done, it will just loop back and it'll see its previous history. And then we'll just get the same thing, which is continue building the Python course. Cool. Let's actually dig into what a log looks like when we run Ralph. Great. So let's take a look at what happens when we just let Ralph cook for a little bit. What we have here is the Ralph mode of our deep agent CLI. So a few things to sort of point out here. First is we have this flag, the Ralph flag. And second is what's the actual instruction, the specification that I'm giving Ralph. So it's build a Python programming course for beginners. Use Git. You can also set the number of max iterations. So these are the Ralph iterations here. There's a few different ways of designing the Ralph loop. For example, you can just sort of let it run forever and then you go and you manually exit it. Um, you can also let Ralph break out of the loop by saying that he's done just different design decisions. At the end of the day, you're basically looping Ralph over and over again, over the same prompt and an updating file system. So let's sort of take a look at what Ralph goes and does when we let him be. So iteration one takes a look at what exists and sees if there's anything there. Then the main thing here is usually Ralph starts with creating some sort of to-do list. This is because we're built on deep agents and deep agents has this sort of primitive built in, which is our to-do list tool. It goes and it does that. And then what it does is it starts executing stuff. So it goes, it makes a readme. It, it says, okay, these are the modules that I have to build. And then eventually I need to initialize the Git repo. So it's going, it's doing some of this stuff. It's using the right tool to write these Python files and it's doing work. So let me show you what happens as Ralph continues to work and gets to the second iteration. Great. So again, iteration two happens. So we did one cycle of the loop. Ralph tried to exit, but we go and we put him back at the start. So updated file system, updated Git, but same prompt, continue to build out the Python course. Great. So Ralph says, okay, let me check what exists and I'll continue building out the course takes a look at what exists and then starts updating the task list that he needs to do. 
So this sort of loop just keeps happening over and over again. And if I didn't set a max iterations, then eventually I would need to come back to this, see the progress and stop Ralph manually. At the end, I'll scroll all the way here and sort of see what Ralph completed. So nice of Ralph to give us a final summary. So completed six modules, 74 exercises, three world projects, you get the idea. When you let agents act in this loop over and over again, then they can just sort of make progress and track their changes over time using the file system. Another thing I'll mention that's pretty interesting, context management is still pretty difficult to do across these long running agent tasks. Things like compaction, summarization, offloading are ways to mitigate this idea of context rot, where you, if you have a ton of context, then your agent performance degrades. But what we can do is, if we just restart the loop and we let Ralph see, hey, these were the changes that were roughly made, this is where I'm starting from now, then we have a clean-ish context window and it can just continue working in some sort of loop. So just another thing to, to note that Ralph is actually really good for context management if you want to work in these like long running tasks. Hope this was fun. Hope you have fun playing with Ralph and really excited to see uh, what you make Ralph do. Thank you.